Shalom family, this is me, Mary C. Today we're going to can taco beef, meatloaf, and black-eyed peas. We're going to start out with, of course, a package of black-eyed peas, about a pound and a half. And we're going to use 12 pounds of ground beef. Six pounds for the taco beef, which we're going to fry up and six pounds for the meatloaf. Here we have the ground beef with the onions in this bowl ready to be mixed with our spices. These are the spices that we're going to use. Minced garlic, paprika, black peppercorn, garlic powder, chopped chives, onion powder. Uh, we've got two peppers, one yellow or orangish, and one red. I've got my gloves because it's going to get messy. And three eggs, some beef broth, and some a soup packet. We're going to use one of the onion soup packets for our meatloaf. And of course, all of the ingredients will be in the description area. Uh, we are, of course, always start out with our clean, clean I'm sorry, clean glasses. Uh, with our lids and rims all ready to go and we will stuff the jars and we're going to pack those meatloaf uh, the meatloaf into those jars so that we don't have any air uh, pockets at all and if you're anything like me when you do a canning session you want to make sure that you have enough uh, items to go in a canner you don't want to do a half empty canner or a partial canner uh, of food when you can do a full canner of food. So that's why I uh, decided to go ahead and add the black eyed peas uh, to this canning session as well. And, and they were all done. Everything is done in pint size jars. According to the packet here for the tacos, uh, it looks like we're going to need. Um, I believe it's six packs of the taco seasoning. I am going to cut back a little bit. I'm only going to use the five. And keep in mind, that once you fried your, your uh, ground beef up and uh, you want to rinse it, make sure that you rinse all of the, the, as much of the grease off of it as possible. And that's what I've done. So I had to do two, two batches of that in my frying pan because it wouldn't hold all of it so in the two batches one batch I fried up rinsed it off real good and then I put it in the uh, that saucepan that you saw cleaned all of the uh, jars off really really well with the vinegar around the the rims and then you also want to make sure that uh, you only fill each jar to the one inch, uh, give it a one inch headspace. And of course, once it does the session of the canning and, and is processed, and they will process each one of those uh, canners, I hit the two running, in each canner was processed for 75 minutes uh, for the, the beans, meatloaf, and ground beef. 75 minutes but before you start the actual process please 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 remember to vent your canner 10 minutes while that steady stream is flowing out when it starts getting hot you want to make sure you vent it for the 10 minutes and if you're unsure about how to um, that process of venting and then putting on the weight and all of that please go back and watch one of my previous videos that actually walks you through the process of uh, canning where you can see the steam and and you can uh, see that I'm counting out the 10 minutes and then we put the weight on and then you know after that then we watch it the, the process do its thing so Please go back and watch one of the other videos that I've done that actually walks you step by step through this process. Again, I will make sure that I put the um, the recipe for these um, items, the meatloaf, 
the black eyed peas and the taco meat or taco beef in the description area for you all. And that's pretty much it. It's a very, very easy and simple process. One of the things that I wait for is to hear that popping sound once the process is over with and you take it out of the canner. You wait for that lovely sound of the tops just popping and that way you know that your jars have sealed. And they look absolutely lovely. Although I have to say, the taco beef and the pinto beans look beautiful. They look absolutely beautiful. Now that meatloaf, it did not look so hot. As a matter of fact, it kind of reminded me of the uh, canned chicken. The canned chicken, when you do that raw, <laughs> and when it cooks down, or, you know, it's, it's pressure canned, it's not that pretty. Not very pretty, but it uh, tastes pretty good. I did uh, wait for one to cool off a little bit, opened it up, and uh, it's got really, really a good flavor. I've done the, I've uh, pressure canned the beans and the taco uh, meat before, but I've never done the meatloaf. So the meatloaf was the first for me. Flavor is very, very good. I'm just not all that used to the uh, texture. It's a little bit softer than your average or normal uh, non-processed, uh, non-canned non uh, meatloaf, but still good nonetheless. And I was able to go a little bit further and I did myself some uh, canning of some lentils along with some uh, ground beef just for things like uh, spaghetti if I wanted to do spaghetti and it pretty much just has the um, onions and seasoning in those. And again I did some, uh, did some lentils so I did another batch of beans and meat and they came out really really good and again there is more of the taco beef overall they all came out really good um, again the meatloaf was something new would I try it again absolutely absolutely we already love the taco beef the beans always taste really good and uh, the regular I, I say regular just the ground beef with the onions and seasoning in it so that if I want to do spaghetti or something like that, um, that always turns out really well too. So give it a try. It's not, it's not bad. It's an, it's an easy process. I hope you enjoyed this. I love you. Shalom everyone.